Hi guys, today I have my first update for Project Pan Roulette and this is a roulette style rolling project pan meaning that I have, I think now I have 40 to 43 categories and every time I would just be working on 10 products and they're chosen randomly. I put everything in my Excel sheet and I just use the lookup function to, you know, draw it that way randomly so I don't really handpick from the little piece of paper or anything. Um, but last time at the intro, I had 10 products and now it's been about a month. I was able to finish one product, so I figured I should just give you an update and put something else in and continue to work on the rest of the products. So let's get started with the one product I was able to finish. This is a eyeshadow from Elizabeth Mott and the color is Champagne. This one is from the category something I have already hit pan on. And this guy, I had a baby mini pan last time, and I know I didn't take pictures at the intro, so I'm really sorry about that. But I just had the smallest baby pan in the middle of it. But that product was already repressed, and that pan was after repressing. So that means I really didn't have much product in there because it's so thin. Once you hit pan on the repressed product, usually it goes away pretty fast. So this one is all done right now. You can see that shiny empty pan. This one is a, well, the name is Champagne. So it's a shimmery kind of uh, champagne -y gold color. And I majority of the time just used it as a highlighter actually, and it looked pretty nice. So I was able to finish that pretty quickly. I'm really happy about that. That means I still have nine products left in my um, working rotation. The first one is a drugstore item. For that one, I picked my NYX HD concealer. The color I have here is 04 Beige. And last time I showed you guys that it was really hard to see through the packaging. Well, all concealers basically have that problem because they're thick and they cling to the side of the tube. But I had to take out the stopper already because my wand just wasn't really getting much product. And I would say this one will last me probably another week or so because it really doesn't have much in there anymore. Weirdly enough, when I swirl it around the tube, it doesn't, it still doesn't really show the brush marks, you know? But if you look inside of it, it really, maybe you could see, maybe not. But it really just doesn't have much in there. I could see through the light, like on the edges, it really doesn't have anything, maybe a little bit more on the very bottom. And this wand doesn't even reach all the way in, so I probably have to use like a spatula or Q-tip or something to dig it out. Um, but I think the concealer itself is really nice. This is what I have on my face today, so I think I can just push on and finish this by the next update. Then I have a matte product. For this one, I picked my Kev on D shade and light uh, contour palette. I was able to hit pan on one of the shades long time ago and I had to repress it already. And by the time I repressed it, I actually pushed all of the product on one side. So this is what it looks like now, it's this one. So last time, like I said, because I didn't take a picture, I'm just gonna have to describe it to you. I basically repressed it and pushed all the product on this one side. So you see where those two little tails end so you can imagine it's just like half of the pan was covered like that and now you can see i really don't have much left i'm debating if i really need to actually repress it again this is just a really good one i'm happy this is almost done then next i have a cream product this is probably in the most challenging product i have in this project it's a cream highlighter from bare minerals it's the Bare Minerals Chandelier Glow Illuminator in the color Gold Obsession. Last time it was basically brand new. I have used it a handful of time, if even that. And this time I think it still looks pretty new. You don't really see a dip or anything. And I found the best way for me to use it is to use my fingers to uh, tab it on my skin on top of the foundation. That's the best way. It blends really easily that way. It doesn't lift up any uh, base products. If I use a brush, it would lift up my foundation and it applies kind of blotchy. And also the color is a little deeper. For me, it works fine. I think it will work so much better if I'm a little bit more tan, if I'm in my you know, summer shade. Right now it's fine, but if you have really pale skin tone, you probably wouldn't be able to make this work just because it's a little deeper. Next, I have a chapstick or lip balm item. This one is really disappointing, actually. 
I picked my Nivea Moisture Lip Care Lip Balm. This is one of my favorite, all-time favorite lip balms, and they're really cheap. I always buy them in bulk from Amazon. I figure since I use it every day, why not just toss it in? This one though, I didn't really try to pan it. I just used it whenever I need to use it, you know what I mean? So I really didn't make much progress and you can see some of the marks. That's where I started and this is where I am now. Not much progress, which is really disappointing, but at the same time, I know that I didn't try to pan it. If I need a chapstick, I would just grab whichever one is closest to me. I wouldn't go all the way out to grab this one to just make progress on it, you know what I mean? So I think it's somewhat expected, but still a little disappointing to myself. The next item is once my most expensive item. So for this one, I picked this face primer from Guerlain and it's the Laor primer. And this one was sent to me from Octoly Complimentary a few months back and I just, I didn't want to use it because it was so expensive, but it was really nice. So I figured this is a good chance to actually pan it. So you can see some marks. Those marks are not accurate because this is a gel consistency primer. So it clings on the tube or the glass uh, really bad and it's hard to level, you know? It's a little bit of an estimate and I just marked it, brought it here to film and it already looks off from where it is. But this is just guesstimate basically. That's where I started. This is where I am now. It looks like it's a little lower than the actual product, but whatever, it's close enough. <laughs> so for this one, I just use one pump each time. So I was a little surprised it actually went down this far. You really don't need much each time. It's a very moisturizing, tacky moisturizer, basically. I don't think it has any silicone in it, which is what I prefer. And it just feels so nice on my skin. Because it's a little tackier, it does really help my foundation to stay on too. So I'm really happy I'm using this one now. I'm totally in love with it. I have the category an item of my choice. So for that one, I picked a liquid eyeliner. This one is from Kiko Milano. It's a precision eyeliner. This one is in a little potted form. So it's a liquid eyeliner, but you dip the brush in this little pot like this, and it still has tons of product. So there's no way this is running out in the next, I don't know, even like two, three months, I feel. It's gonna last me a little while. There's no way I can tell the progress, but I'm using it every single day and I love it. I think this is a really good product. Next, I have something purple. For this one, I picked a blush that's leaning kind of purple tone. This is from Lancome. It's the uh, blush subtle in the color of plum. This is a gift with purchase shade for me. This is what it looks like now. I don't think it really looks much different from the beginning at all. I probably have used it for a week or so. I really, really, really enjoy the shade. I think it's subtle enough that you don't have to worry about using too heavy of a hand, but it does show up on your skin really nicely. It's a little purple toned, but also it's a little deeper, so it looks very natural on your skin, or at least to my skin tone. I love it a lot, but I kind of intentionally wasn't using it much because I have another uh, blush in a different project pan, and, and that project ends a little sooner, or way sooner actually. So I was trying to focus on the other blush, and I'm sure I will come back to this a little later, so for now there isn't much progress on it. Then I have an Urban Decay item. For this one, I picked a 24-7 water liner pencil. This one is in the color Rail. It's a really, really deep brown color, almost comes across black anyways. I use this to fill in between my lashes, so I will use my liquid liner to draw the wing, and then I will use the pencil liner to fill in. So this is... Uh, I think I started using it probably just about a week ago because I was working on a different eyeliner. That one is done, so I just moved on to this one. I made some progress, not a whole lot though. So that's how much I was able to use. I just marked it based on this little part here, and I was able to use it just a little bit. Not so much, but I do really enjoy this liner, so I don't mind it going slow, and it really doesn't smudge or anything. I actually feel pretty impressed by it. Then I have something pink. This one, I also picked a pencil style product. This one is a lip liner pencil from NYX, and it's in the color sand pink. I've had this 
I don't know, for so many years. I probably bought it in 2000, I wanna say 2010. So that's crazy. <laughs> this is what I have on my lips today, but underneath a lipstick. It's a really just hot pink color. I feel it's a little too bright for the season, so I usually use a lipstick on top of it. So this is how much progress I was able to make. Not too much, but you know, that, that's something. So I'm happy with that. And I think once the weather warms up, of course I'm gonna use it a lot more, but I'm hoping this wouldn't last me until all the way like in the summer. So that was all of the 10 products I had as of last update. And because I finished one, I decided to pick one more category and you know, put one more product in basically. And my Excel picked something, uh, a product with beautiful packaging for me. So for that one, I picked this mini lipstick from MAC. I think this one has a gorgeous packaging. It's a limited edition, like Christmas uh, packaging from a few years ago. They had the Nutcracker line, the entire holiday set. It was gorgeous and I bought the mini lipstick set. This one is in the color Kinda Sexy. I tried to pan this in my uh, Finish 18 Lip Products in 2018 project, but I was able to only use it halfway, so it wasn't finished. This is also the lipstick I have on my lips today. It's a little brighter than what it actually looks like because of the lip liner underneath, but I do really enjoy this color. I feel it looks really neutral and it lasts really long because this is a matte formula. So I figured it's a mini, it doesn't have much left. I really enjoy the color. I should really just try to finish it already. So this is how much I have and I marked it on the cap here. I'm hoping this one wouldn't last me too long, especially you can see a lot of the products I have here are long-term products. Like they're not about to be finished the next month or so. So I really want to have something that I can finish almost every month. So hopefully by next month, I can actually finish this one and uh, pick something else and keep things rotating so I wouldn't feel the project is just being stale. So that will be it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like. Also subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.